Hey guys, Pablo Vegas in here with um, continuing my YouTube speech about um, defending um, potential Syrian refugees who might come to Hawaii again. Uh, like I said earlier, um, a bunch of reporters asked Governor Ige if he's willing to allow Syrian refugees to come to Hawaii. He said, yeah. And I support that because, again, I defend the idea of judging each person as an individual. And if you want to come, come, man. And yes, there the refugees are being screened by immigration agencies. So, but I want to explore one more thing. Um, because they, oh, we should let them know because Hawaii has so much homeless and so much people low income and can't take anymore. And you know what? Most of the people are saying that did not give a crap about the homeless a week ago. Okay, so you guys are phony. You guys are phony saying that oh we. Oh, we don't want them because they have so much homeless and blah blah blah. You guys don't give a crap about homeless. You guys don't care. You guys didn't. I seen your social media posts. You guys didn't. Don't really write that much social media posts about the homeless or caring about the homeless. But now you care about them because you don't want a new ethnic group coming in. All because of what? A few clips on Fox News like showing what a very small minority of an ethnic group is doing. Ooh, you're so scared. You're scared based on a stereotype. You don't want new people coming in. You're not. You're not. Ask, you're not out there defending the homeless most of the time. You're not out there defending people um, living in the projects. You guys don't really care about that. You guys just. Pretend to care about that because the your, your real reason is you don't like a new ethnic group coming in. And you know what? We have programs for homeless. We do, and of course, there could be more programs and stuff, but we have homeless being helped. And there's some homeless who don't want to be helped, so we can't really do anything about that. If they don't want help, then what more can we do? So, yeah, most of the Syrian refugees, um, yeah, they may start all broke, but just like all these immigrant groups in the past, so eventually get jobs and they eventually be working, and some of them might be entrepreneurs. Oh yeah, one of them was a big time entrepreneur, Steve Jobs. His dad was from Syria. He, well, Steve Jobs' his last name is Jobs just because he got adopted by an Anglo family, but. Yeah, so I mean, hey, maybe one of these Syrian refugees might be the next Steve Jobs. <laughs> or even if it's not just the next Steve Jobs, maybe the next guy owning um, a store or whatever, or the next doctor, or the next teacher, the next um, engineer. See, so you can't just uh, you know, assume they're all going to be poor forever, I mean. So all that stuff, like, oh, dude, we can't bring them in because we have homeless. We always had homeless. We always had homeless. We had homeless guys when all these sugar barons imported all these Japanese and Filipino and Portuguese and all these other immigrants to the plantations. We had homeless guys a couple of decades ago when we welcomed all these Vietnamese and Laotian refugees. So stop using the homeless as an excuse to, to discriminate against the Syrian refugees, okay? So all you anti-refugees, stop with their insincere stuff. You guys are racist. You guys only believe in stereotypes. You guys don't want to study the issues. Stop with their insincere and racist crap, okay? And all you um, um, racist people and that's been polluting my news feeds on Facebook, yeah. I already started getting rid of one of them and we'll probably get rid of some of some more of you if you guys keep posting that racist crap, so just like Ice Cube said, bye Felicia.